How's it going guys, Yomitosh here and now that you've set up your main aesthetics for your newly jailbroken iOS device on iOS 11.3.1 or all the iOS 11s below that, now you want to add some finesse to it, you want to polish the look. These are the tweaks that are going to help you get that polished look. By the way, check out my playlist. I've been doing tweaks for iOS 11 for a while and pretty much all the tweaks on the former iOS jailbreak is the same on the new iOS jailbreak. So make sure you check that out and let's get right into it. So the first trick I have for you is aerials. So if you look at my status bar really closely, you can see them. I have different colors up there. So you can see that my Wi-Fi icon is blue. I'll probably leave a close up shot. But yeah, it basically allows that customization up there with different colors. You don't really have a see on what colors though but it still looks really cool, makes your phone look colorful. And the next trick is called CC modules and CC modules was a very good trick I loved in the initial jailbreak and this is what it looks like. You can basically arrange the um, CC modules any way you like and you can also add more. I'm just gonna quickly go to the control center um, settings area and you can see that there's loads more apps there. So you can add FaceTime, Safari, a Google link, Instagram, all that so you can have it at the tip of your fingers when you need them just going right into the control center So that's really cool. The next trick is called swipe selection pro and this goes along with your new keyboard and the mousse I mentioned in the previous video and you can slide over your keyboard to move your cursor Now Apple already has this with 3d touch but 3d touch is a bit finicky sometimes So if you just want to get straight to the point without any like having to push hard on your screen, this is the tweak you want, Swipe Selection Pro. The one that also goes with this is called Smooth Cursor. So if you notice, my cursor moves so smoothly. It's really nice. It's it's a bit hard to get used to. I've had this for since like iOS 9, for example, but once you, take, once you do get used to it, you never want to go back. It's really smooth. It's basically copying that Microsoft Office 20, 13, I think it's 2013, uh, that smooth cursor basically. And this one I briefly mentioned in the previous video is called Movable 9 and you can basically move the status bar icons from side to side. So if you don't want your, so example, I have my cellular, which is now a Batman logo. Check that out in the previous video again. Anyways, it's in the middle. My time is on the left rather than being in the middle. And I've gotten rid of my cellular bars. I've hidden it away. So this is a nice clean look that I really like and you can customize it any way you want. You can actually remove a bunch of the other icons on the right side if you don't like them. Anyway, that's it for Movable 9. The next one is called Jumper and this is for those of you that have Little X or the iPhone 10, and it basically allows you to customize those um, buttons right there. So if you like the camera one is pretty redundant because you can just slide right to the camera. I was actually supposed to change that to Spotify and leave this as flashlight. Nonetheless, you click on it and it takes you right into the app that you want to go into or the app that you've placed there basically. Pretty handy. The next one is called Mitsuha XI and it's basically a visualizer for the music, the Apple Music Player. So if you look closely, you can see that the um, waveform is moving as the music plays. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but this is how it's supposed to look like. The waveform moves as the music plays, which is really handy, really cool. The next one is called Buy Home Bar X. And basically, if you're in any app, let me just open settings quickly and look at the home bar. It disappears after a bit. If you touch on it, it comes back. You can change the duration of how long you want it to be on for. This is really nice, really handy, especially if you have the iPhone 10 and you feel like it's always getting in your way occasionally, yeah, you can get rid of that or you can at least make it hide after a few seconds. The next one is called Swipe for More and this is for all the tweak junkies. I am one myself. Maybe not tweak junkies alone, but people who get a lot of tweaks on Cydia. Uh, so yeah, if you want to install, delete and reinstall tweaks on the fly. This is for you, this is called swipe for more. You basically swipe on the tweak and it gives you option to remove, reinstall, queue for reinstall or queue for delete. And it's really handy because you can do like tweak edits in batches so you don't have to do them one by one. Although you can go through the um, hassle of going to click modify and then add it to queue but that's a much longer method rather than the, rather than just swiping right and clicking the um, Q button for remove. So that's pretty cool. And the final trick is Eclipse X and you might have caught a glimpse of this. This is dark mode for iOS 11. 
and it's pretty cool i only have it enabled for my settings right now but yeah this is what it looks like it does have a lot of customizer customizability and you can customize it to your heart's content it doesn't work well in some apps but i'm pretty sure you get good results nonetheless anyway that's it for this video there's still going to be another video on the utilities that you should get on your ios device this has been the aesthetic add-ons and yeah see you in the next video Peace.